Discipleship is a word that you may have heard around the church. It might sound like a big word or maybe even a complicated word, but it's actually very simple. Jesus' call to each of us is to follow him, which means that we strive to live like Jesus did. Discipleship is simply the process of becoming more like Jesus in our everyday lives. Just like Michelle said in her sermon last week, discipleship isn't something that we do, it is who we are. So here at Sparta UMC, we want to help you grow to be more like Jesus and live this life of discipleship in a holistic way. That's why we've been working on some fresh new ways at Sparta United Methodist Church to deepen our discipleship opportunities based on a passage of scripture that's very near and dear to us here at our church. In the Gospel of Matthew, someone asked Jesus what the most important commandment in the scriptures is. And Jesus says that it's to love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself. He goes on to say that these are so important that the entire body of scripture hangs on them. So if this is so important to Jesus, it should be for us too. So we see this passage as a way to organize the life of our church as we all grow in loving God, loving everyone, and following Jesus. Over the next few weeks, we'll be introducing some new language about discipleship into the, th into the things that we are already familiar with in the life of our church as we strive to love God with all our hearts, minds, soul, and strength. When we talk about our hearts growing in discipleship, those are opportunities that we have to care for each other. As we care for each other during times of grief and hardship, we are allowing God to grow and shape our hearts. Throughout most of the Bible, the heart is where the emotions reside. So part of growing as a disciple is becoming emotionally healthy as well. Our souls or our spirits grow as we worship and deepen our connection to God's Holy Spirit. Worship happens anytime we are expressing our gratitude and adoration to God for who God is and what God has done for us. When we worship in spirit and truth, we grow together. Sunday mornings is a primary time that this happens, but it certainly happens throughout the week in other ways as well. Loving God with our minds often means that we are taking intentional steps to learn more about who God is and how God is at work in our world. Right now, this takes place most often through Sunday school, Bible studies, and small group discussions. We are excited about new opportunities in the church to deepen our knowledge of scripture together along with those great opportunities that already exist. Loving God with all our strength often looks like serving our community and loving our neighbors as ourselves. Our church has made a commitment to love and serve Allegheny County and beyond. And we're very eager to help you find a way that you can use the talents and giftedness that God has given you to share the love of Christ in our community. We're planning to use these logos and this language to organize the life of our church around growing in discipleship. Our hope is that it makes it easy for you to keep track of the ways that you are growing and notice what might be getting left out. For example, Maybe you're coming to worship every Sunday and participating in Sunday school, but haven't participated in the ways that we serve the community. So you can keep an eye out for those types of opportunities. Or maybe you spend a lot of time helping with the wood ministry and Grace Kitchen, but you'd like to grow your mind and heart as well. This, is all, this will also help our church leadership make sure that we are offering the opportunities that you need to grow as a disciple. This discipleship pathway is a new tool for communication that helps us all grow together. So keep an eye and ear out over the next few weeks as we begin integrating this into the life of the church. We are so excited to grow in God's grace together as we love God, love everyone, and follow Jesus in 2022 
together.